Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cargo Hub. Uh, we're looking at where we left off last time over here in Corona. And I'm not sure if the train's coming in or not, but this is where we're at right now. As you remember, this is what we did last time. Uh, we built up this uh, our station right here. And one thing I wanted to do real fast was I wanted to add in um, a couple of these guys right here. Just to give it a little bit more character. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, but we're not going to be focusing on Corona this time. We are going to be focusing on Oceanside. And I originally said we were going to Stockton, but we're going to Elgin or Elgin. Elgin, maybe. So what we're going to need to do for that is we're going to have to go across the river a couple times and through the woods and over here to Elgin. And... Um, Looking at this, so let's. Let, well, the first thing I want to do is I want to put down our station here in Elgin, and I'm going to passenger terminal. I think we're doing 80 metres in the length, and there's those darn turkeys again, bro. So Looking at this, uh, you can see that all of our goods are right here in the middle. And I originally was going to put this right here, but I don't want to destroy any of those houses because you only get so many per city. Uh, and if you remove them, from what I understand, is they just don't come back. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in right, right here. Right, right here. And we're just going to start off by putting in the uh, the the, uh, the tracks, and we're going to throw down cargo platform just right away. Just do it right away. Get get it get it in there. Get it going. Um, that guy, and then uh, this guy, and this guy. Okay, that's in there, and we will need to escape. Come here, and I'm going to put in a road. That's a little too close. So much money. So much money. Let's wait. Okay. We're going to put that guy in there. And... That looks absolutely terrible. Those turkeys, like, gobbling just crack me up. The fact that the game has gobbling turkeys in it is hilarious. Okay, so when I click on... When I click on that guy... Okay, we got that, so then we're going to need to put in some intercity... Intracity? Intracity stuff. So the first, next thing we need to do is come over here to Oceanside... And as you can see, I did put in the cargo terminal and stuff over here. Did I do that last time? I don't remember. That was last time. I think I did it this time. I, I put it in before I started recording. Yes, that's what I did. Okay, so we've got the passenger, the cargo terminal and whatnot's in. So that is good to go. But we're going to have to pause because I don't want the AI to build here. I need to come across here. Which two buildings will be removed? Oh, and they just build it. Big Sag AI. Sorry. Actually, that looks like crap. There we go. Oh, this poor guy over here is just like, no, no. Sorry, buddy. You're standing in the way, literally standing in the way of progress. Now, I'm only bringing those out. I'm actually going to bring this guy out here, too. I'm not going to mess with this one, so we're going to continue with just the one on the, the left here, the passenger line. And let's get that across the river. And... 
I don't care about, we're not going to be doing boats. So as long as this looks good, I think we're good to go. I don't think we have, ooh, we have, ooh, we've got different bridge colors. Okay. Okay. I, I I'll I think I'm gonna go with just the normal. I think I'm gonna go with just the normal. Okay, so now we can see that mm, we need to. Yep, yeah, mm, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. We can see that our path, our station is right here. So we need to shoop, exactly how that sounds. Okay, and get it going that direction. And again, like I said in the in the previous video, um, the shorter you build, so like if I build over to here, it's 50,000. So let's see what happens. We're going to build to right here. There's seven. There's 17-ish. Oh, you know what we need to do? That. Thirteen, so that would have been thirty. A little bit cheaper. A little bit cheaper, but I also, yeah. Let's get across the river here. Again, we don't, we're not going to be using boats, so there's no reason for me to try to make them tall enough for a boat to go underneath. I'm going to swing it a little bit this way. Well, it looks like we're going to go uphill here a little bit. I'm going to swing and then come in like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what if we just let's run it to right about there. Right about there. And we're staying flat. Okay. And then to right there. And then also bring this guy out. Okay. And let's have a look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, so what we're going to do... What if I... Oh, I can delete that one, but I can't delete that one. That's way too much money. Way too much money. So let's bring this out straight. Like that. Because I want these guys to be straight, because they, they need to be straight to come out. Okay, uh, that actually is pretty good. Bring that guy out there like that. All right. And then, before the AI builds on this road we just made, because they'll be like, oh my gosh, you mean I can build here? Because we're going to have to go out that way towards Stockton. And so let's get let's go like that a little bit. Let's get our Stockton road going a little bit here. All right. Might as well, might as well um, extend this out just a hair past where the AI thinks they'll want to build at. So. Oh, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to get a depot in here for passing. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, road, road a depot. Okay. 
that guy slapped in there. And then stop closing all my things. And let's see, we need to put one here. And then let's put one over here. And then one right here. And then one... I feel like I need to put one... I'm going to put one right here, and then I'm going to put one up here. And I put them on both sides of the road just because it gives the, a, the, the game the ability to be like, oh, okay, we can go this way. And so the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build some road out this way. And that way the AI can be like, oh, I, I can build here? Kind of deal. Uh, again, we're not going... Ooh, they did put it... Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, AI. And we could put that there. Also, I feel like I'm going to do this. And maybe... What I would love to do is... How much is this? Yeah, see, that's like a lot of money. So I'll let the AI deal with whatever they're going to deal with here. Uh, let's create a new line. New line. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to go counterclockwise. Is that not City Road? Did I not build City Road here? That's Medium Streets. Yeah, that's City Road. Get rid of that. I was just like, why is this turning around? Why doesn't it go, you know, this way? Also, I suppose I could do... Um, nah, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, let's buy some vehicles. They'll figure out their life. We're going to buy Chew. And we're going to remember to put them on the line, which we're going to rename from this to... What are we at? We're in Elgin Passenger Intracity. Okay. Those guys can get going, and the AI can do all of that stuff, which is what I thought they would do. And they can start building it to their heart's content. Um, the next thing we need to do is we need to connect our line from here to Elgin. So let's come over here, and we want train line which is that guy. And so add station, that guy. Mm, nope. I think I do that every single time. And we're going to go to Elgin. Then we're going to come back to Oceanside. And then we'll go to Corona. Corona, Oceanside, Elgin, Corona. All right. So that's all in there. And our train should now pick up all of those peoples. Uh, the one thing I was thinking about was... What's the let's check our how many people we've got here. We've got 76 here and we have 59 here and the train's going to pick up 42. Where is our train at? Oh, he just picked up. So he's got 11 of 42 passengers and heading towards I don't know that it tells me what the thing is but he's heading toward elgin so what i was thinking about was putting another line on another train on here so let's see how much that train is um let's check this so if i was to I'm going to do a new buy new vehicle. I believe we're using this guy. So that is 258. This is 476. 
So it is a 28 miles per hour. I think we're going to go with the Baldwin six wheel again. Just because it's cheaper. I would love to go with like the 10 wheeler. But money is a thing. So if we do that and then we add in three passenger coaches. So that's $1.4 million. Clear st story. Yeah. So I think we're going to go with this. And I think we're going to buy an additional one. Because I think we have enough passengers that we could get by with two of them. And But that also means we're going to have to throw in some passing tracks. So I'm thinking, no, we're not going to do it. We're just going to let the one go. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to just do the one. And then that way it doesn't, we're, we're not having people, people aren't waiting is what I'm, what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. And that's what we're going to do because we don't want the train to be waiting at a thing. We want it to be making money. And if it's sitting and waiting for the other train, because I didn't dual double track any of this, then, you know, that's terrible. But I, man, it's almost like, should I throw it? This is me second guessing myself on everything. So let's see how much. Let's see what we can do. We've got $3.2 million. And that was like $1 million something. The only way to make this worth it is to double track all of it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. I was trying to save as much money as I could, but I think we're at the point where I definitely need to consider that I need to run more than one train on this line. And the only way for me to run that more than one train is to run. Um, this is terrible. Let's do, do it like this. So let's... Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's go to this. Okay. And then we need to run a crossover here. Oh, six thou. Yeah, that's probably right. This might be too. This might be too, too much. Um, can we get it closer to up here? Well, if I at some point I might have to put in a road here, but. I'm going to try. Okay, let's try that. Nope. So... Okay, well, let's try this. Yep, sorry, building. You just built in the wrong spot, dude. Okay. I'm just striking out here. Okay, well, now let's try it. Um, I 
Okay. Well, there we go. Also, let's move this back a little bit. Sixty-four cheese. Nope. We're not paying sixty-four cheese. Well, that's sixty-two cheese. Sixty-two cheeses. That's less cheeses. And we can live with, like, whatever that is. All right. Well, this is, uh... How much is it... Okay, how much is it to build this across here? 60,000? Or we can do this. For right now. I'm only doing this for right now because I'm at least trying to save some of our money, um, we need to signal this. So it's going to be a one-way uh, uh, yes, and this will also be a one-way. And then we need a crossover. Oh, we're going to see if we can get this get away with this. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. How close to this can I get? We are striking out a lot on this guy. Okay, so, uh, uh, mm, yes, this is what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to go like this. Mm -hmm. Then we're also going to go like this. So if they're coming in, they can go straight. Or they, if they need to, they can go this way. Or actually just need to stay on that line. So he comes across. Um, we need we're gonna have to signal all of this anyway. So we need this and this. Where did we put our crossover at? Did we even put one in up here? We have not. Signals. Oh, yeah, we have one right there. Oh, see, that's fine. We actually just need to put this right here. Not We can get rid of all this. Duh. And that guy. Okay, well, now let's look at our line. So it, come, it can come in there. And we're good. We're good. It comes in here. It goes across the bridge and I I think what I need is Actually, honestly, like, I can get rid of this guy. That is not what I wanted to do, but that's what happened. <laughs> so, 
Um, I can do that. And signal this to where it is like that. Okay. And then we need to finish our tracks. Yes. We'll get some signals in here. Don't you worry. See, I knew I put that in there for a reason. And we need to do our crossover right here. Too much slope. Man. Man. A little bit farther out than I would normally like to make the crossover, but, you know, sometimes you get what you get. I think I made it too long. No, nope, too much slope. There we go. And again, put that in there. We're going to wait for that train to get in here. So let's uh, do some fast forwarding. Oh, yeah, our line is good now. It is good. I'm going to put in signals here. And the reason I'm putting in signals here is because... A normal train line has has signals on it. So I'm going to put one right here and one right here. And uh, I'm not going to make it over that. Mm -hmm, yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe one right here and one right here. One at or below the hill. I don't know why I said at or below. It just sounded good. And then one right here. Okay. All right, so our signaling is done, and so what that leads me to next is we're going to see, we're going to do it. We're going to buy a vehicle, and we're going to do a steam train, and we're going to add that guy, and then we're going to add in three passenger coaches, and we are going to buy it. And we're going to throw it on that. Unable to find a path to the stop. What do you mean? Hold on. Let's look at our line. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Boom. There we go. So we have 685,000 shimoleons left here. And yeah, I think adding in a second train on this line is definitely needed. We could almost probably add three trains on this line with how long it is right now because we're going to be going up to Stockton. Um, and we haven't even we haven't even flattened any land, you know what I mean? I do like this idea of not 
double tracking the the bridges just to save a little bit of money right now and i can put in i have no signals here a zero sig so if i don't put a signal in it should be fine i don't i don't actually need signals there right 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 yes correct because it, the signal for this guy is right here he's going to come across the bridge and should well i don't need one-way signals but i should probably use a two-way signal so this is like an incoming and an outgoing signal Yes. Yes. Lovely. Semaphores. Where's our train at? Right there. Let's see if our signal is... Well, I mean, it still sh shows red. Like, that one should show red. I just want to see if it changes. You know what I'm saying? Hey, would you look at that? Very cool. I've never used the semaphores in the game. I usually start at the point when I don't need them. <laughs> but they look cool. I believe there was some semaphores that's still in Indiana for a while. They may have taken them out now, but there was some. Um, but yeah, like, oh my goodness, like that's going to be very expensive to remove. Look at that. This is so many residents right there. And sorry in advance kind of deal because those will go... That line will continue to Victorville. So we're going to come out of Corona and hit towards Victorville and then up that way, I think. But we're not going to be doing that today because that's going to do it for this episode of the Cargo Hub. We've made our run. Let's see. Let's check our let's check our new train. Uh, 42 passengers. It's on its way to Oceanside. I don't know if it's going to tell me where those passengers go or not. But it is 57. Oh, it's unloading. So train one just unloaded and reloading over at Ocean Oceanside. So... 84 of 84 passengers right now, 78 still at Corona, and I don't. I thought there was a way for them to for it to tell me where they were going, but maybe there isn't. Maybe it's at this station. It tells me, yeah. Oh, Via, yeah. So then, since those are the ends of the line, the one in the middle tells you, oh, we've got some passengers now that are waiting to go to Elgin. And one that's some that are waiting to go to to Corona. So very cool. They're gonna meet in the middle at some point during during this thing. <laughs> so, um, but hey, that's good. That's gonna do it for this episode of the Cargo Hub. We have expanded over to Elgin with our train, and we do have. Currently, nothing waiting. Wait, no. This is the one we want. 28 passengers waiting over here at Elgin, and we probably will get more um, as things start building up and all that stuff. So next episode probably will be going up to Stockton. So then we've got Stockton, Carlsbad, McKinney, Hollywood, Albuquerque, all these over here. Very much a west coast flavor to a lot of these cities so 
But yeah, from Elgin, Elgin, we're going to head to Stockton, Carlsbad, McKinney, and points beyond. But that's going to do it today for the Cargo Hub, and we are starting to get busy. We spent $3 million or more, and so we're going to have to build all that money back up to get to the next part. But that means that we have to wait it out because I don't want to take out any more loan than what we already have if we don't have to. And with the amount of money that I hopefully will be making off of all this um, passenger wise and everything else, let's take a look. You know, we're in the hole right now because we just bought a train. So, uh, yeah, fuel delivery is doing good and all that stuff. So hopefully very soon we will be making more money and be able to do lots more things. So in, in the meantime, we have plenty to do on setting up stations, making them look good, etc., etc., etc. So hopefully you come back for all of that. And until next time here on the Cargo Hub, as we take a look at the Oceanside Passenger Station, take care. <laughs>